<laughs> My name is Lauren Little, and today we are going to learn about Black History. Yes, happy Black History Month, everyone. We are going to go on a tour of the city, and we're going to really investigate and discuss places that are important to Black History, specific in Hartford. You're going to have fun, you're going to draw, you're going to be creative, and you're also going to learn. I also want you to know that Black History is American History. There are many people, places, and events that are important, and by the end of this video, you'll be motivated to learn more about Black history in Hartford on your own. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I really want you guys to think about how you observe when you visit this next location. Um, boop, my friend Henrik is going to be joining us for our trip, and you know, we're going to be investigating history together as historical investigators. So, this next clip, just kind of be observant and try to think about where it is going to be. Oh, but first, I really want you guys to develop and make your own Black Lives Matter map. What? What? Amazing. You're gonna use this map to keep a record of all the places that you visit today. So there'll be opportunities for me to give you instructions and those instructions will be you decorating and making notations and creating things that's gonna be added to your map. After, you'll have time and space to add more of your own details that I really want to see what you guys come up with. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to make your Black Lives Matter maps. You're going to need paper, pencil, markers, or crayons. Okay, so you're going to use your pencil and you're going to begin to write Black Lives Matter in the center of your paper. This is going to be really important, so this is something that I would recommend doing slow. Now you're going to create your road by writing lines. Okay, so this is when you make your Black Lives Matter map look really cute by tracing the words with markers, color pencils, or crayons. Also, don't be afraid of the pencil if you make a mistake. It is A-OK. -okay. Now trace the lines of the road that makes the Black Lives Matter map. Write your name and then you're done with your map. Yay! Let's go! So I decided to get started and this was the first place that I came to. Cool building, right? I really want you guys to take a look around. Hmm, where am I? I. Where am I? Hmm. This is Noah Webster Micro Society where there was a protest in 1967 about de facto segregation. This is important because it really affects students today who are attending school all throughout Connecticut. In this picture, you see a picture of a mother and other teachers and parents protesting about de facto segregation. They want equal access to quality education. So you're going to make your own protest sign to represent your voice about this issue. Let's make protest signs, yes! So this is what you're going to need for this activity. Okay, it's good to make a slogan that is really important to you. So use your imagination and use your voice.
So Henrik disappeared. Then he sends me a text talking about he's doing his own investigation and to catch up with him. Check out this clip he sent me. Wow, real funny, Henrik. So I hope you guys can look here and get some clues to see where we are. I walked around and looked for Henrik. Nowhere to be found. Really? What? What? Well, look around and we'll talk about where we are. This is Mount Olive. It was important for many reasons. Also, I learned that the money they were able to raise was used to help support Dr. King's work down south and allow for us to eventually have equal rights. Okay, so I got another clue from Henrik of where his next location could be. There are a lot of people in Hartford. That's why you're going to make your own character for your Black Lives Matter map. Your character can be made with googly eyes and other items to represent the people who go to church, who walk in the street, and who participate in protest. Here are the items you're going to need to make your character. To get started, get your stick to make your character. You can use a hot glue gun with an adult's permission to add the googly eyes, but for this activity, I'm using tape. So I followed Henrik's clue and I realized I was close to a really important place. This is where Battle's Luncheonette used to be around. If you look forward, there is a plaza straight ahead where it used to be. This was a meeting space for a lot of black leadership in Hartford. This is a picture that I found online of the luncheon and it was right after the riots. It would be really interesting for you to find more research on your own and begin to investigate why this happened. For this activity, we're going to draw a picture of people going to the Battles Luncheonette. It's a very important place, and you can start by drawing a couple stick figures, making a table, writing or drawing some of the food that people would have eaten at this place, and at the end, tracing it and adding your own colors. You can see how I did mine as you begin to do your own.
finished my picture and added it to my map. I can't wait to see what you guys have drawn. Henrik thought I wasn't going to catch up with him, but I did. <laughs> Boop. And yeah, so we're happy to kind of be back together and excited because next we're going to get ready to put together our Black Lives Matter maps. Okay, so we're back. We've done our investigations. We've visited different places in the city. And now we are going to put together our Black Lives Matter maps. Now we have all our pieces. We have our characters. We have our protest signs. We have another one. And we also have another protest sign and we also have our character. Now, as you can see, I have Henrik back now. But he's also holding something. He's holding his sign. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your character. And I'm going to take this guy. And remember that he has a pipe cleaners on it. And you have your protest sign. So you're going to take the protest sign. And you're going to wrap the pipe cleaner or arm of your character. I'm going to show you. Around the stick. So you got to a little work with it. And give it a little bit of space. See, I kind of looped it around. And then look, you hold it and look what they're holding, a protest sign. Ah. And I did it with this guy too. So I gave them all sides. Um, and now I have an extra protest sign that I can kind of just put here. But now I have my Black Lives Matter map that is done. And I'll show you guys how to do this. I have my characters. And now that your Black Lives Matter map is complete, you can pretend and play and think about what your characters are gonna do as they walk down Black Lives, oops, upside down. They walk down Black Lives Matter Road. And you know what? I wonder if there is a place in Hartford just like this. Hmm, I wonder. Awesome. So I'm really glad that you guys enjoyed making your characters, visiting the city, and really learning more about Hartford history, specifically Black history. Thank you for watching this activity. Happy Black History Month!